Hello and welcome to another Essential Golf Training video. I'm Michael Jacobs with Erica Larkin, and today we're going to talk about how to strike the tee shot and send your driver long and strong down the fairway. So after Erica gets into her setup position, we're going to talk about some basic tenets of the golf swing. And one of the most important things is that the golfer understands it's a culmination of everything that happens within the body. So what happens in the lower body needs to transmit to the upper body through the arms into the club. So we're going to have Erica go halfway back into her swing and we're going to talk about some of the things that happen. She twisted her upper body, her torso. You'll notice that her hips have turned and she was very structured in her knees. A common mistake that people do from setup is they'll start to buckle or move at their knees. And what it does then is it doesn't allow the hips to do what they are supposed to do. So much of the power is driven by the hip joints and you definitely want to train yourself to include those. So we'll have Erica go halfway back again and then we'll look at her arms and club. And what you're noticing in, with her arms and club is that there really hasn't changed much in the way of the shape of her arms and wrists halfway back. A lot of people, when they first start, will make an attempt to try to make the club light or overpower the club with their wrists, and they'll start to move the club out of its shape. So you want to keep the body rotating, and as Erica goes up to the top of her swing, what you're going to notice is that her back is completely facing me, so she has done a full torso turn. If people do only a half torso turn, you'll notice that the club gets too far out in front of Erica, and then when she comes down, she's gonna come down on a very strange angle into the ball. People who also don't turn their torso enough, what they'll end up doing then is they'll end up bringing their arms way across their body, and then the plane of the swing gets really outrageous. So we wanna train ourselves to do a full torso turn, and then you're gonna to wanna to train to have your arms to be as high as your shoulders on the backswing. So you can see her glove on her left hand is equidistant or just above the right shoulder at the top of the backswing. That's very important. A common mistake is to keep the hand below the shoulder. The club will then be at an angle of right above the right arm and that right shoulder as well. So when the hands are in a good spot, we would want the position of the club to also match that. As Erica starts into her downswing, it's going to be driven from the hips as the club moves down. And at this point in the downswing, you're going to notice that the club is back out in front of her. 